Welcome back to DIY RV and Home and Campers Life. APG sent us out another uh, camping kit to take a look at. This time it is the camping gas stove. So let's open her up and see what it comes with. So you have your carry bag that it does come with. Inside that you're also going to have a manual, single page manual. We have a siliconized lid that has steam holes on it uh, so also drain uh, off if you're doing like noodles or something and it also does have a spot uh, where you can use it as like a sippy uh, cup inside you're gonna get your uh, stove now it does have a nice little uh, handle that flips down for your control valve for your on and off so it folds out of the way it does have like a siliconized rubber on it, so it should stay nice and cool. Over on the other side, you have a uh, electric spark igniter to ignite, so no need for lighters. Now, you also get on the 900 milliliter pot a green sleeve, neoprene sleeve. Siliconized handles to keep it cool, and also underneath they have designed it to where uh, it semi turbocharges the heat to heat it up faster and if by chance you're not in a green mood for the silica for the sleeve on the outside they do bring you and give you a red sleeve so you can change those out for the different uh, moons that moods that you are in so it does not come with camp fuel so you, you'll need to pick up some isobutyl fuel for it. So what we're going to do is we're going to pack this stuff up. We're going to go for a little jaunt, a little trip. And we're going to go ahead and uh, make us some tea. We're going to see how long it takes to boil the water. So we're going to pack up. And we'll see you on the trail.
Since we had kind of an inaccuracy in the time frame between boiling our bottled water and boiling the stream water, um, we're going to redo the test on boiling the bottled water and see what the time frame is, is on that. If that comes up four minutes again, we'll try the stream water and see what that does. And it could be just because of the temperature, it could be, but whereas we had an issue where the uh, stove actually uh, died the, on our first test, and we restarted it, it could be inaccurate because it was already up a little bit on temperature. So we're gonna do this one more time to see what that, how long it takes. And right now, the temperature of the water is 69.4 to be exact. So fire it up and we'll get this time. So I've had a chance to do a couple tests with the, the camping gas stove from APG. One thing I did notice is when I put the stove onto the fuel canister and lock it down, sometimes I'm not sure exactly why, but it's not getting a flow uh, of gas. So I have to unscrew it and screw it back down again and then it'll take off. You saw my first test. Um, it failed just because uh, for some reason the, it quit flowing gas even though it was on. Uh, Another thing we noticed is that uh, this lid right here, you have to make sure it is pressed on really tight. Um, otherwise, as you are pouring, it does have a tendency to come off. And I mean, it does take quite a bit to get it to lock down. So if you're going to use this to strain stuff, make sure that's on there really tight uh, before you do that. Or even use it as a sippy cup because it does have the hole for you to be able to sip out of. And then we did have, uh, they said that uh, it would boil water in about four minutes. Um, our tests, uh, first one was inaccurate because it quit uh, heating, uh, had to reset it and everything like that. And it boiled within 40 minutes on that one, on that test, but the water was already pre-warmed up. So we uh, went ahead and tried off the river water, which was at a little over 60 degrees. 
and uh, it took six minutes to get to a boil. So we decided that we were going to retest uh, room temperature water out of uh, our uh, little bottles that we brought. And we had a simmer, a rough simmer, slight simmer at four minutes, and really a boil, what we call a boil, a roiling boil at just under six minutes. So it does take a little bit longer. I mean, you're talking 900 milliliters of water that you're trying to boil out of this. You know, an extra two minutes, you know, that, that's up to you guys if it's uh, that big of an issue. Other than that, you know, the build quality is the same as uh, the complete uh, camping, uh, cook camping kit that I tested. Uh, and right here, there's a link to uh, the initial thoughts and reviews on that. So, would I recommend this for campers? Yeah, I mean, I don't think it's that bad of a unit. It's not too expensive. Uh, they do have an adapter that if you are going to use this more uh, as, uh, let's say, more frequently than just backpacking in somewhere, you can uh, have an adapter to adapt to the one pound propane bottles. So you can get those to put on this. So you have uh, less cost on fuel. Uh, probably gonna do a couple more tests on it uh, and then we'll go from there. But so far, I mean, their products seem to be pretty good, pretty decent uh, as in uh, build quality and design. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please click the like button, hit subscribe and share the video. Till the next review, happy camping.